the Schrodinger's cat thought experiment because mm. I, I, I've heard about it, but I, I don't think I fully understand it. Like, yeah. can you really do that experiment? Like, why is it just a thought experiment? The thought experiment is uh, there's a box and there's a cat inside it and there is a wheel with poison in it, poison gas. And then there is uh, maybe some sort of a quantum process and hydrogen atom sitting in its excited state and it, it's, it can emit a photon any time. And that photon goes and hits some detector and that triggers the wheel to drop gas to release and the cat can be dead, right? So, mm. and if, if, but if that, that doesn't happen, then the cat is alive. Right? Mm. So at any given time outside the box, I don't know uh, whether uh, the cat is uh, dead or alive. Mm. So what is the state of the box? The state of the box is zero, zero, which is the cat is dead or one, one, which is oh, one, which is the state. So zero, cat is dead or one, cat is alive. Mm. Now quantum uh, bell state is exactly that. It's really, a, uh, so, so you can create a cat state where you have, uh, you know, this uh, linear superposition of zeros and ones and even the Hadamard transform on a qubit mm. Puts it in the cat state, or rather, some of the transforms put them in the cat state. Mm -hmm. So it ties the classical to a quantum, you know, in a you know, in a way that we all have emotions about. Oh my God, it's dead now. That's sad. Mm -hmm. Or you know, we can we can see the outcome quite clearly. So it it is also a very important thing. It's also at the base of uh, what can you measure and what can't you measure. So this is mm -hmm. anyway. This is interesting and uh, deeper thing one can discuss in longer. <laughs> over maybe some <laughs> good beers or whiskeys, you know, so. <laughs>